Hey everybody, this is just gonna be a really quick, unedited video for, uh... Hello everyone, so basically that was a lie. I said I wasn't gonna edit this video when I was streaming yesterday, but I changed my mind because I actually got to try post-season 2 patch Nago Ryuki, and I actually think I kinda like his playstyle this way. It, I am still adjusting to it, but I feel like he's really come into his general archetype, like their initial idea of what should Nago Ryuki be doing. It really should be like he touches you and it's almost over. His high amounts of damage leading to objectively one of the worst situations in the game, but it becoming worth it the lower your health bar is. It really shines through in Season 2, but I do still believe sometimes major patches completely altering what a character can and can't do can be a problem. So I'm going to let this version of myself talk for a little bit more, and then I'll be back after he's done. Okay, now on with the video. Uh, the channel, uh, s sorry, I'm a little fl flustered. It's really hot, and I'm just, like, streaming right now. Uh, if you don't know, I stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash kfenrear. Anyway, I haven't made a Guilty Gear video in a while, but uh, this is something I want to talk about. This is something Arc System Works has been doing since Blaze Blue, and I hate it. I hate it, because, like, Evo's coming up, and I'm pretty sure we're using Season 2, like, Nago, right? Okay, so, replay demo. Like, this is how it was when I created it. And it's really easy to do, too. Watch. I, I won't even, like, set it up, but, but I can do it right here. See, look, I'm moving him around. It's really easy to do. Hold on. It's really easy to do. Hold on. Embarrassing yourself. Okay, see, look. Oh, I have a heavy... I have forward heavy slash, but you get my point. It gives me the wall break. Okay, try with la latest game version. It may be impossible to clear due to different game versions. Change to latest game version? Yes. Replay demo. W w watch the computer just not be able to do it. Because you... They made his dash go farther. And, like, I had a feeling, because I've played this, like, since the patch, but I wasn't sure. I thought it, maybe it was just me. Maybe I was doing something wrong, but... Nope. It's a side switch now. Just let me know in the comment section below what you think about stuff like this. Because this is what happened to a lot of my mains in Blaze Blue. And this is why I fell out of Blaze Blue. For so long. And now it's like a pain to try to get back into. Because everyone who kept with Blaze Blue is still really good at that game. Like, what am I supposed to do now with Nago? Like, obviously I can go into combo trials and see. And I'm, that's what I'm going to do right now. But, I don't know. I've always hated stuff like that. But anyway, you let me know what you know in the comment section belo below. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, K Fenrir from the future back again. Uh, I feel as though I may have jumped the gun. Although, yes, patches can change playstyles to the point where, again, the character may not feel as fun as, as they were initially. I don't think that's necessarily the case with Nago Ryuki here. My old combo still works, it just only works if you do it at a max range with his crouching slash. And you might think, oh well that's not cool, before you could do the same combo with multiple different starters. Maybe that was the point of changing him. Because yeah, there, there was a point where if I got a counter hit with either version of heavy slash, forward or neutral, or if I landed slash, or if I landed K, I would basically lead into the same combo each time. They're probably trying to move away from that, which is possible. Also, there's a version of my combo, essentially it's the same thing. I just do K, forward K, but instead of going into the low slash, you know, Beyblade move, I just do his uh, anti-air, and then I teleport to you, and it's essentially the same combo, and it does more damage with one less special move in it. So, Nago's not necessarily worse, he's just different. So, with this information, I ask, do you prefer when big season patches change characters, shift up the game a bit, does it make the game feel more vibrant and new, or do you dislike it? Because I believe 
right now dragon ball fighters is under discourse for their season two patches and changes and they have a new patch coming out right now that apparently people don't like tekken 7 has had a rough go at it with its season passes and major gameplay patches so let me know in the comments section below thank you for watching feel free to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time